It's gone. It fell in the boobs. I am still like, I started as a hip hop DJ. I would probably play hip hop for a lot of it. Yeah. Like I really like trap and I really like what happens after it because like what's happened since trap because of hip hop. You know, like I started DJing around hyphy and crunk and all those kind of sounds. So it's, to me, it's the same noises yeah. and the same drums. And it's awesome that people are liking it. And it's awesome because I can throw that stuff in when I, you know, put in the RL Grime track that everyone wants to hear. I like popular music too, and I like songs with hooks. But um, I have this soft spot for really like banging. I love that kind of Night Slugs vibe of just like hard, fast club music. That's almost, I, not hard style, but like 135, really 4-4 kind of ravey stuff. Yeah. I'd do that. I don't know if anyone would enjoy it, but I would enjoy mixing it. Big bad bassline sound. No, it's funny you say that. Like I have, I've been doing a lot on the side. I just have to make sure it's good. So um, I'm stepping up. I am, I think, like working out what I want to do next in terms of officially because I'm so passionate about being a curator as part of, um, you know, programming mix up exclusives each, each week and house party that I don't want to be a jack of all trades and a bit shit at everything. So um, I'd rather be really good at it. So when you hear something, hopefully it's because it's the best I can possibly do at that time. So yeah, there's like, there's like three or four things that are almost done, but we'll just see. And also, I really just want to promote other good Australian artists as well, rather than using the platform I have to be, hey, wait, I've got this song. Eventually I'll do that, but it'll be when I step back from you everything say, else. won't you hear me out when I hold it back? certain sound and that's cool yeah. I think it depends on a lot of things like I like songs that are interesting you know like I like songs that I don't exactly know where they're coming from it's that idea of having a song on the radio and then not knowing where it's gonna go and then even being more twisted when you hear the end of it I, I again have this amazing advantage of being on earth and working around like being active on earth and and working around people like Louie and Lockie and all these guys and Linda that I look up to that listen to great music. I listen to so much, I play a lot out and I like a lot and I'm not gonna be someone that, um, I'm always gonna have the stigma of being a radio host and pre presenter and a producer behind me. So may as well just own it and be like, yeah, I'm really into this UK house sound. So this version of this track is like this and, and I'm really vibing on stuff that's, kind of beatsy and 90 BPM, so that's why I made this. Like, I don't think it matters. If you look at people like Diplo and even Skrillex, to an example, to a point, like, he's making stuff that sounds like Flume now, you know? Like, it's it's okay to not be attributed to a sound. I think it's more important to be attributed to a, an audience. I will always tell you what I think, but I'm not going to be someone online that like bitches about a DJ comp or whatever, because I think there's positive elements to everything. But instead of like actually being a narc about it, I'm just going to do something else about it. You know, like that's why like I invest my own money into that stuff. Like I pay my friends what they deserve, you know, it's like a strange cycle. It's involving people going out. So we need to go out more. You need to like put on more stuff. You need to listen to more music and we need to make more music. It's like everyone has to do it all. And that's how we change the world. <laughs>